Even though these videos are not the easiest to film, I know how much you guys are always asking for them and how much you enjoy them. So tonight we're tackling what's for dinner. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another video. And in today's video, we are tackling what's for dinner. You guys always request to see these videos. You seem to enjoy my meal plans and my grocery hauls. You're always commenting, thanking me for the inspiration and the meals I've come up with to feed my family of five, but you'd like to see the finished product. And I always feel like it's a little difficult to show you guys that because dinner time in my house is always crazy. I don't get quiet, I don't get time to set up the camera or film what my plate looks like, but I wanna give you guys what you're asking for. So over the last few weeks, I've taken a few clips of what I cook for my family of five. You'll be able to see the differences if you watch my meal plans on how different I cook for them and how I still prepare for myself even though I am doing more of low carb and they are not. So I'm excited to show you guys what I have at least been able to capture and I even have some old clips from when I lived in Carolina because you guys my intention is always to share these kind of videos so sometimes I will take some clips but then I never have enough to string them all together. So I'm going to take you guys down to my counter here, my counter in Carolina and show you guys a bunch of clips of what what I cook for my family of five. Oh, okay, you guys. So first up is my really pretty red truck plate from Target that I scored at the Target dollar spot. Super Christmassy and festive. And on this plate is one of my favorite things to show you guys because it is a rotisserie chicken. So I made this in my Kasori toaster oven that does the rotisserie. I'll link that video up above if you guys didn't see it. But it is seriously the most amazing thing that I have ever had in my home. This is not a sponsored video. I am just so excited about being able to make Make my own rotisserie chicken but if you do not have a rotisserie in your house I do have a video showing you guys how I make just a whole chicken baked in the oven so I'll link that video up above but I love making whole chickens because it's something you can use versatile throughout the week I'm a dark meat person so I have a wing on my plate and just some extra white meat but we use these for salads wraps all sorts of things throughout the week quesadillas so those are always a win in my house and then I do have a tiny bit it, just a small portion just a taste of the parmesan orzo i have a cooking video for this as well so i'll link that down below this is just a really awesome amped up side dish and then right there is some roasted cauliflower i know it doesn't look like much but it tastes amazing i ate half of it before it even hit the plate and i turned the camera on so good olive oil salt pepper parmesan cheese 400 degrees in the oven and you have amazing roasted cauliflower so that's what we had for dinner that night and then now on to one of my favorite meals that we've had over the last few weeks and this was actually an every plate meal so you guys are going to see me completely assemble this meal in a video later on next week but this was a butter steak with these side potatoes and a green bean almondine I think it was called but this is why I love every plate just because it teaches me how to do things that I'm going to do moving forward so one of the things that I absolutely loved was making this butter that we put on top of the steak so that was roasted garlic and fresh parsley that you manipulated into this really soft butter and then it just melted down on top of the hot steak and it just made the steak so juicy and so flavorful and now you're going to see potatoes on the plate and i'm going to make a statement right now a potato in my world is a vegetable and i don't happen to know anybody who ever got fat or died off of eating vegetables so you guys will forever see potatoes in my plate like i said they are a vegetable in my world and i'm just not giving them up anytime soon if i'm giving up a bread and all sorts of other sugar and carbs i'm not giving up a potatoes but speaking of vegetables this plate was coupled with these green beans that were tossed in garlic and olive oil and tossed with toasted almonds. What a difference toasting the almonds were to the actual flavor. So delicious. This was a perfect little date night for Daryl and I. All right, now on to Arby's night, you guys. So you guys know if you've watched my channel for a while, how much I love my Arby's night. I did a cooking video for this that I'll link down below for you guys as well, but I do not eat the bun anymore. And like I said, the potato doesn't count. So I took the roast beef and I put it on my plate and I added the nacho cheese and the homemade Arby sauce. And I have to be honest, you guys, I just don't miss the bread. That gave me everything I needed. I would have had two, maybe three potato cakes. So 
that's where the difference in my diet is still giving myself just a little bit of something as well as like I said potato is a vegetable but I just did not overdo these and we made those in the air fryer so they came out super crispy and delicious and then I put a pickle on the side I always feel like when I need a little bit of something extra I reach for a cucumber or a pickle some kind of fruit or veggie when I feel like my plate is missing something so this was it for this night so now we are on to breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner is definitely a staple here in our house. I usually put it on the meal plan at least once a week, if not three times a month. And on this particular night, I made breakfast hero. I'm pretty sure I shared a video for that at some point on my channel, but it's really super easy. I just buy that loaf of everything bread from Walmart and I just make a giant omelet. I'll usually do scrambled eggs and cheese and then I'll do bacon and ground sausage and I'll do like just a big hungry man and cook it on a hero bread. Before I started doing low carb, I would indulge with them. But now as I'm constructing the hero, I just leave a portion of it deconstructed and that's what I serve on my plate. So I just had the eggs and sausage and cheese on my plate separated with the bacon on the side. And then of course I usually do some fruit on the side as well. So I have some strawberries on my plate because of course you have to eat the damn berries. But then I do have a little bit of pineapple. That's like my treat of the meal. I know it's a little sweet and kind of sugar heavy but that's my my little treat for the night since I'm not having carbs and the rest of my meal but we definitely love ourselves some breakfast for dinner around here so here is a recipe I was really excited to share with you guys and this is actually a recipe that I shared in a video that I did just a couple of days ago a spend the day with me and we prepared this recipe and this is the garlic brown sugar chicken thighs I'll put the video up above but I'll put the original Pinterest recipe down in the description box below for you guys but it's a super simple recipe I just braise the chicken thighs and stick them in the crock pot with the swerve brown sugar with some butter with some garlic and then literally you guys they just cook for a couple of hours and they come out super tender and the garlic and the brown sugar is such a comparable flavor and then I just did that with the rainbow carrots that I get from Trader Joe's I love how beautiful they look just the different colors the purple the orange the yellow I roasted them in the oven with some butter and that brown sugar and a little bit of honey and it was the perfect added sweetness that was my treat for the day was the little honey that I added on top of the carrots but they were just such a great compliment to that dish and I really enjoyed that meal all right so now we are on to my steak sandwich and I know the meat probably looks a little dark but that's because I crisped the heck out of it in the broiler but everybody else had steak sandwich that night on the hero bread with macaroni and cheese and neither one of those things were something that I can eat so I just kept a little bit of the steak out for myself threw some extra cheese on it and threw it in the broiler got it extra crispy it was so delicious like that and then I put a dollop of sour cream on top with a little bit of green onions and while they had mac and cheese I had celery with cream cheese and a little bit of the everything about the bagel seasoning so everybody else was kind of chomping on their hero and I was totally content sitting right there I got all the flavors of everything they were eating they were eating the steak sandwich on everything bread I had that flavor on my cream cheese and celery and I still got to eat the steak and it was super delicious so next up is chicken parm and this is probably one of my favorite recipes that I have been cooking since I was a little girl. It's one of the recipes I shared in my cookbook. I love my chicken parm but my original way of making it was covering it in breadcrumbs and frying it in a frying pan and then covering with sauce and baking it with mozzarella on top. So I've done my own low carb version now and it works out amazing and my family loves it and I think I actually shared this in my last what's for dinner video but I just saute it in a pan with some garlic and oil and then do the same concept with the sauce and mozzarella and it comes out amazing. So I just had that on the side with a salad with my homemade ranch dressing. And on this particular night, I did indulge in a piece of bread, but it's because I was dying to try this garlic Parmesan and basil seasoned butter from Great Value. And that was amazing. And if you're Italian with this kind of meal, goes a glass of wine and this is the first red wine I've ever loved and it's the one by Stella Rosa Vanessa got me into it this is a Texas based wine only it is so so delicious so my wine and my low carb chicken parm with my salad and my bread and this you guys was the perfect meal 
So here is what a completed version of my pot pie looks like. I usually get two out of each recipe. So this is one of the two pot pies that I made. I made turkey pot pie for Daryl during his birthday week and he got to choose all of the meals. But you guys, normally we would have none left and this I'm going to freeze so I can do something ahead with it because I actually did not like how this one came out. I was a little disappointed and that's because I do not have a regular flour in my house. I only have coconut flour and almond flour and I really think in this particular recipe you needed regular flour to make that gravy thick. You could taste the consistency and the flavor of the coconut flour in the mix on the inside. And so unfortunately, Daryl and I noticed right away, our kids aren't big on pot pies anyway. That's not really their thing. This was more really for him and I, and we just did not enjoy it. We would have eaten leftovers on this until it was completely gone, but we really just, like I said, we didn't enjoy it because it was very thick. There was no liquid or gravy-ish to the inside at all and it just had that consistency but you can see like all the way through it just really wasn't creamy and stuff inside it was just very condensed and congealed and so we really just want to like cover it with gravy in order to be able to try it like I didn't eat carbs or anything all day like not one carb anywhere just to be able to indulge in a little bit of this pot pie and I just was so sad when I just did not enjoy it at all and so we're, I'm just going to make some homemade gravy and we'll defrost these on another night and we'll just ladle the gravy over the top. I didn't have anything on hand to make it or I would have done that already but we just ended up freezing these portions and then I will go back again like I said and I'll make regular gravy and we'll defrost them and hopefully we'll enjoy them the second time around. So here is another example of how I switch things up for myself as opposed to my family. So tonight we did French dips for dinner. I did a roast beef in the crock pot along with some corn and mashed potatoes. But here's how I set up my plate. I put some mashed potatoes in the bowl and then I made a hole in the center like a donut. And I filled that with some corn and then I layered the French dip meat on top with the gravy and a slice of Munster cheese and a piece of provolone cheese. And I melted it in the microwave till it became all ooey and gooey and then covered it with some everything but the bagel seasoning along with sour cream and green onion so besides the mashed potatoes that's how I had mine but here's how I served it for the rest of the family so these are fresh rolls from HEB and I just put the French dip on the fresh bread and melted the cheese on top Daryl had no corn on the side but there was his mashed potatoes but the kids ate theirs you know with the bread or deconstructed some of them had it deconstructed like me others had it with the bread Jake had it with the bread and so did Maya but Mason liked his deconstructed but that's usually how I do a lot of my meals is separated on the plate all deconstructed while they do theirs completely carb filled they are my carb lovers after all here's a flashback you guys look at those countertops sometimes I miss those countertops so so much so here is a meal that I served right before I left to head this way to Texas it's my cheeseburger casserole it is a super easy dish you guys and completely low carb so i'll link in the description box the link that i got off of pinterest i don't think i ever shared this on my channel although i wanted to but this is super amazing it's delicious it bakes in the oven i have some sugar-free ketchup on top with some extra pickle you do put pickle on the inside but this mama loves her some pickle as you guys saw earlier i really love that salty flavor especially with that cheeseburger and that sugar-free ketchup and i serve that alongside of a huge salad sometimes i'm not in the mood for salad and other times i am craving like a big old plate of it you can tell our pod had already left because we were living off of paper plates but I had some peppers and some cucumbers and some tomatoes and some ranch dressing and some walnuts because mama loves some nuts on her salad and it was absolutely and super delicious. So here's my last flashback recipe to my old house and don't let those potatoes fool you because those are cauliflower mash. So right around the time that I was getting ready to leave, I was playing a lot with cauliflower mashed and putting them alongside of casserole. So this is a toasty and delicious cordon bleu casserole that is so easy, you guys. It's literally some ground pulled chicken on the bottom of a casserole dish with some ham layered on top and then a really 
easy egg and mayo mixture that you pour over the top, top it with some cheese and bake it in the oven. Completely low carb, tastes just like Cordon Bleu. So super delicious. We really, really enjoyed that. I was very surprised how much Daryl like ate up the entire casserole dish. And I served that alongside of some cauliflower mash. So my first few times making the cauliflower mash, my family was not about it, but the trick ended up being to throw in two small regular red potatoes or one small russet potato. Unbeknownst to myself, those little bit of carbs just did enough to my family that it converted that cauliflower mash into something that they could tolerate. So I melted some cheese on top, added some sour cream, salt and pepper, and voila, this was our dinner this night. Okay guys, so that's it for this time's what's for dinner video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I hope you guys can see in the recipes that I showed you guys here today just exactly how I'm approaching my diet. I do give myself just a little bit of grace, but I feel like that's been working amazing for me. That's been the ticket is not depriving myself of anything, just finding what works for me, cutting out things like the breads and the pastas and just finding exactly what's suits me the best. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, make sure to comment down below and smash that subscribe button so I know to keep doing them and keep sharing them, especially if you guys enjoy them. I love you guys all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.